Hi guys, um, a little bit of a rant and a tutorial, all in one, yay, um, my battery died. So on to the rant before, I went to the nail salon and I asked them to give me gel nails. The nail technician or the lady um, proceeded to take out a little cup powder. And I said, no, 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 I want gel nails. She goes, oh, this is gel nails. I said, no, that's acrylic powder. Long story short, I had to go somewhere. I couldn't wait, and I just needed them. So I got them done. Here is the rant. If someone says they're going to put gel nails on you, and they take out powder with the liquid, that is acrylic they're applying acrylic on you there is to my knowledge absolutely no gels that come in a powdered form another thing that they'll do is they'll put acrylic on and they will put a gel top coat and charge you for gel nail right here it's it's breaking off that just broke off so right here you can see where she didn't file the sides can you guys see that since she didn't file the sides all of that is like a chunk that really shouldn't be there on here you can see on this side that that's really not supposed to look like that yeah more than there should be and um this one actually is the decent one that she did so I already went ahead and I removed the ones on this hand and you will see that there's absolutely minimal damage on here when I remove them I just did this at home um, the only one that had um, damage was this one and that's only because she put it on so thick that it didn't stay on the um, nail plate it lifted off and that's what this is so she put it on there so thick it just lifted off the nail and that's why I decided to remove them because I didn't want to keep the um, acrylics if they were starting to lift nor did I want to go back to her so other than this nail um, you can see I removed them and there is minimal to no damage except for that one I'm gonna go ahead and remove these so keep on watching if you want to find out how I did it so the tools that I used are these um, this is actually from Sally Beauty Supply and it's um, hairline coil it's much cheaper than uh, cotton balls that you get at the drugstore and you get a huge box of it that has lasted me close to six years um, your foils um, your OPI nail file because I'm gonna file these after uh, this you're gonna want to use to um, cut off the acrylic before you do anything this is what you're going to remove the first layer with and then the closer you get to the nail plate you're going to use a plastic one to remove it um, and we'll see how that goes I didn't use a plastic one on here and as you can see I did an awesome job and the reason why my nails aren't dry is because of this beauty right here Aquaphor is my best friend especially when I'm doing jobs like this so what I do is I get a cotton swab and before I put on the foil but let me cut these off first so I'm gonna go ahead and cut off and while you guys are watching this I'm gonna just um, tell you why I got acrylics I generally don't I generally just have my natural nails but I got acrylics because 
um, I'm going to the pool and my natural nails just started to break and I decided that I wanted to still have long nails and still go to the pool and not have them break plus I was traveling and I couldn't find my lamp to do my own nails so I figured the next best thing was to go to the nail salon so when you go to the nail salon and they tell you that they're going to give you gel nails um, be educated and know that acrylics does not equal gel nails So now that I have my lamp, I'm going to be doing gel nails next. And no, I'm not a professional, but I have dealt with acrylics before. And, uh, I didn't want acrylics. You don't want to go too down. Um, see how I did it there? I didn't go all the way down. Because when this cracks, when the acrylic cracks, you don't want it to be cracking into your hair, um, not hairline, into your bed nail, um, nail bed. Good heavens. So tongue tied more than usual. So you kind of want to go up. And I hope that didn't get any of my cats. So yeah. So this is what you're going to be left with. So I take a cotton swab. And I go around the cuticle. Because I'm going to be soaking this on pure acetone. So I go around the cuticle area. Take the cotton. Saturate it in acetone. And wrap it up for 10 minutes. It's going to take you more than one. Go at this, so it's going to take you more than 10 minutes. But you know what? Take your time. Um, you're better off doing it yourself than the nail salon. If you go to the nail salon, they're just going to try to drill this off because they don't have the patience. They could care less about your nails, and they've got other clients, so they're going to want to do this as fast as possible. And as fast as possible to them is drilling the acrylic off and in the process possibly damaging your nail plate so I'm going to do the rest and I'll report back when I'm going to remove them Keep okay guys so 10 minutes just passed and I started off with the pinky so I'm going to unwrap the pinky first remember it's not all going to come off in the first try um, I want to be as gentle as possible. And you want to work pretty quickly. You don't want this to harden back up. And I'm not going hard at all. I 
he can just pull the rest off. So that's how much I got off. What I do at this point is get a little bit more of Eucerin ointment. Add some more because this is very dry into your skin as you already know. And here's the proof of it not killing my nails. So I take the exact same one and I soak it in acetone again. I take the other side and I put it back on. And now leave this on your nails for another 10 minutes. Okay, so here is the second round of 10 minutes. And I'm gonna go with a lighter hand here and it's completely coming off of this finger. So gently, go very gently the second time around. no damage on that nail can you see that there is no damage on that nail Alright guys, so here are my nails, um, as you can see they are not dry, they are not damaged other than what the nail salon did. Here is the other hand, um, you can take some of the um, Equifor ointment and as you can tell I, I'm about to hit pan on that that's how much I love this stuff and whatever's left over here you can just moisturize because you're gonna need to put moisture back in right now and and now you can take your file and Go ahead and get rid of the sharp edges. And then put on a um, good quality base coat or nail strengthener. Before you put it on your nail strengthener right now, you just want to condition and file.